Hey guys, it's Stacey. So in a lot of my videos, people have showed so much interest when I do poll and there's a lot of comments saying people want to try poll and like want to start doing poll. So I've decided to do a video on everything you should know before starting a poll. So once I've told you everything that you should know, I'm going to show you some beginner tricks that you should learn in some of your starting lessons it might be a little bit intimidating even though everyone's in the same boat as you it's a bit like oh i don't know what i'm doing so i just want you to know what to expect so at the start you're going to do a lot of skin conditioning so if you don't know what skin conditioning is it's basically getting your skin used to the pole because if you don't know already a pole is going to pinch your skin it's gonna hurt so be prepared <laughs> so you're gonna have to get used to that and that's why we do skin conditioning because that helps your skin to just get used to the, the pain and you don't feel it as much i've realized with certain moves when i first started doing them they hurt so much but now i've done them quite a lot of times and i've practiced a lot it doesn't hurt as much and i realized when i was first starting out we did a lot more skin conditioning and it seemed a bit boring because when you're starting pole dancing you want to do the crazy spins you want to do the fun stuff and skin conditioning in my opinion isn't very fun it's just something you have to do so as soon as you get past that and you keep doing pole the more you'll do the fun stuff so keep practicing skin conditioning and you'll get there another boring thing that you'll do when you start out is strengthening activities so you will do a lot of strengthening that will help you to climb up the pole and a lot of strengthening with your arms and legs and a pole is basically just a whole body workout so you will have to have a lot of strength everywhere in your body to be able to hold yourself up for a long time another thing you'll need to know is you will bruise a lot if you have sensitive skin your skin's gonna bruise the places that i bruise the most is on the tops of my feet from climbing up the pole which i'll show you later on in this video how you climb up the pole and you'll understand why my feet bruise you will literally get them everywhere so be prepared for bruised skin all the time <laughs> and this kind of ties into like the skin conditioning this is why you need to do skin conditioning because it will hurt be prepared for it to hurt especially when you're just starting out and you're not used to it it's going to pinch your skin so much and a couple of times it's pinched so much like it's bruised and it really hurts also your hands will suffer so if you didn't know this already we use a grip so a grip is basically a liquid chalk like form so you just it's like a cream and you put it on your hands and your hands get really like stiff and it helps you to stay up on the pole a lot more especially if you have sweaty hands i have very sweaty hands all the time it's really annoying uh, so it definitely helps with that sometimes your teacher will have grip for you but not all the time so make sure you're prepared because you don't want to go to class and then not have the grip because it gets really frustrating when you you keep slipping down the pole because i know it really frustrates me when i'm having a bad day it always tends to be the way where I just can't stand the pole and it stresses me out. <laughs> but usually with grip, you get a lot of blisters. So I usually get blisters all along here on my hands and it really hurts. It's all about just getting used to the pole and getting used to the pain because once your skin is used to the pain, you won't feel it as often. So just keep practicing and you'll be absolutely fine. Another thing you should know is you can't give up you have to keep going you have to keep practicing and it will be frustrating at times when you just don't understand why you're not able to do this one pose on the pole or why you're not able to spin around the pole and like stay up longer than you want to and it is really annoying but you've just got to keep at it you just got to keep going and keep pushing yourself because you will get it you just can't give up because if you give up you're never going to get it and you're just always going to be frustrated with yourself <laughs> I would advise going to personal training sessions, so just a one-on-one -on -one with the teacher if you're nervous about starting out. I have never been to a group pole dance session. Um, I could now because I'm not, I'm more confident with myself of it. But when you're starting out, it can be quite intimidating because there'll be girls or boys in the class that may be better than you or you think they're better than you, and 
it's gonna tear you down a little bit especially when you have anxiety and, and stuff like that i would really recommend pts with your teacher and then when you're more confident go to group classes or you can just keep doing personal training i have always done personal training since i started and it's also good with um, a pt session because you're the teacher's focus is on you the whole time whereas in a group she's focusing on everyone in the class so you don't get that one-on-one -on -one, um training you have to wear less clothing i can't stress this enough if you turn up with long leggings and a long sleeve top you are gonna struggle you're not gonna stay on the pole you're gonna slip down and it will get frustrating also if your skin's all covered up you can't do skin conditioning as much because your skin needs to be in contact with the pole. I would recommend for your first couple of lessons to wear cycling shorts and just a strappy top because your skin has to be in contact with the pole for many reasons. So you can actually stay on the pole for skin conditioning and just to get used to it, the feeling. Another thing I wanna say is anyone can do pole. And when I mean anyone, I mean anyone. Don't think because you you feel like you're a bit bigger than um skinnier girls that do it don't think that means you can't do it you can you really can it's not about how big or small you are it's about strength all you have to do is get the strength so please don't think that you can't do it because of that reason if you want to do it you go and do it i've seen a girl on youtube i'll try and find her because she's amazing um but she has no arms and she still does pole. <laughs> I bet you're wondering how. Obviously she's limited because you need your arms a lot, but she can still do pole and I'm so I'm so happy I found her because it's like nothing can stop you from doing what you're doing. It's your own mind that's stopping you from doing it. So please don't get discouraged. Just go for it, go for it, you can do it, trust me. <laughs> be prepared for the weird, creepy comments from guys on the internet if you're posting it. Um, and be prepared for the hate because people love to hate people that do poll for some reason. <laughs> so you will get a lot of questions like, oh, are you a stripper, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to be a stripper to do poll. And strippers need a lot more praise than they are getting. I really hate to see hate on strippers. They are so talented. I have so much respect for strippers and I feel like they need a lot more respect from many other people than they are getting. I feel like they get a lot of hate for no reason. So yeah, just be prepared for the hate. We're gonna get it. Um, just ignore it because they can't do what you do. So now I'm just gonna go on my poll my lovely pole in my room and i'm going to show you some things you may learn in a beginner class obviously this is some things that i learned um so i'm not sure what your class will be like but let's get on to it okay so i've just changed into one of my pole outfits this is one of the first outfits I ever got from for pole so i got this set from i don't know i think it was pole junkie I'm not sure but I'll link all the sites that I get stuff from down below because they do such good sets. Also something you need to know about pole dance is the pole moves, it's not you moving around the pole. So if you, I don't know if you can see but the pole moves, it spins. So if you didn't know that already, well there you go because I didn't know that before I started pole. <laughs> So one of the things I learn in my beginner classes is back hook and front hook. So it's basically just like a basic spin that looks really pretty. So this is front hook. And then that back hook is basically the same, but you're going backwards as well. Oh, I haven't done this one in a while. Oh. And then you'll also learn how to do chair. Why am I worn out? This is a problem. <laughs> so now I've just put the pole on still mode so I can show you some of the strengthening 
uh, that you'll do. This stroking helps skin conditioning as well as your core stroke and your arm stroke because it helps you to keep up. So there's two different types of grips. I mean, grips? Two different types of arm grips that you will learn. This is one of the grips, like this. And this will help you to strengthen a bit more by doing that a lot, by lifting your knees up. And then you'll also do the same thing with outer arm crossover. So you'll also do it like that. Oh, why? Lockdown has killed me. You would think because I'm in lockdown I'd be on my pole a lot more, but no. <laughs> and then if you're wondering what the climb was, so this is how you climb a pole properly. You put, can you see? You put your leg like this so your foot is on the pole and you reach up like this. You'll end up like that and then you'll go all the way to the top of the pole doing that in repeat and oh, it kills me. I mean by this climb bruises my foot is obviously this part of my foot is on the pole and you're putting your whole body right into that foot to get off. It's a killer. <laughs> Another thing you may learn is your seat on the pole. So you did your chair on the outside going around the pole, but this is a seat on the pole. So you're gonna lift yourself up and sit down basically. <laughs> So this is the seat, your, this helps with skin conditioning because it's really in between your thighs and it hurts like hell. So eventually you'll be able to take your arms off. Also learn to do windmills. I hate windmills, honestly, especially when I first started out because they just, they're just horrible. <laughs> Taking this leg around this way and jumping. And also you need to train on both sides. So if you do something, on this arm you also need to do it on this side as well because otherwise you're going to have one really strong arm and the other one's not going to be able to do what this arm can do that's kind of my problem <laughs> i hope this video has helped you in some way i'll link down below where i got this from so you can go check their website out they have so many cute stuff on there and also i was talking about grip grip's very important so i'll link some good ones down below as well make sure to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of me thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye